Hello, my dears. How are you doing today? You know, there are some words that can be very tricky because they change their meaning according to the context, depending on the situation. And I've already made some videos about some of these confusing words. And this video is going to be about a word that usually confuses uh, people a lot because it has many different meanings. And it is the word play. And, you know, it can have many different meanings. But in this video, you are going to learn how to use correctly the word play in Brazilian Portuguese. My name is Andressa Maia and this is Falando News. So, uh, play can mean four different verbs, verbos, okay? And also two different nouns, substantivos. And some of these, no, and these nouns, they are related to some of these verbs. We are going to see it. Let's start talking about the verb tocar. So, play means Toca when it is related to music. So if you are talking about playing an instrument or playing a song, you are going to use toca. For example, I would like to play violin. Eu gostaria de tocar violino. He plays drums. Ele toca bateria. Or I love when that band plays this song. Eu amo quando aquela banda toca essa música. Okay? So, if it's related to music, it is tocar. Then we have a very known meaning for the verb to play, which is jogar. But sometimes people confuse it with brincar. And what is the difference? We use jogar if you are talking about a uh, jogo. Um jogo, I mean, if it's related to a game, if you are talking about playing a game, we are going to say jogar. But if you are talking about having fun, uh, if you are talking about a kind of amusement that it's not a game, then we are going to use brincar. Let's see some examples. We are going to play football. Nós vamos jogar futebol. They like playing volleyball. Eles gostam de jogar vôlei. Uh, we like playing board games. Nós gostamos de jogar jogos de tabuleiro. Uh, boys usually like playing video game a lot. Meninos costumam gostar de jogar videogame. Meninos costumam gostar muito de jogar videogame. So, boys usually like playing video game a lot. So, if you're talking about a game, then it's jogar. But, for example, girls like playing with dolls. Dolls are not a game, are toys, okay? So, we are, we are going to say meninas gostam de brincar de boneca. Boys like playing with cars. Meninos gostam de brincar com carros. Also, for example, children's favorite play is hide and seek. A brincadeira, then we have here, brincadeira. A brincadeira favorita das crianças é esconde, esconde. So, hide and seek in Portuguese is Esconde, esconde, or pique, esconde, okay? We don't consider hide and seek as a game. We consider it as a kind of an amusement, you know? It's something that kids do play to have fun. So, as it's not a game, como não é um jogo, it's a play, it's a brincadeira, then we say brincar. Kids are playing hide and seek. As crianças estão brincando de esconde-esconde. Ok? Could you see the difference? 
Also, the last possible meaning of the verb to play is representar. And representar is directly connected to the word peça. Peça teatral. We usually don't say peça teatral, but I wrote here because there are other meanings for the word peça, but I'm not talking. I'm not going to talk about the other meanings here. I just want you to understand that play can also mean peça when we are talking about a play that you watch in a theater, for example. And representar means to play a role in a play, you know, to act as a character in a play. For example, we are having a play about Romeo and Juliet at school and I will play Juliet. So this in Portuguese would be Nós vamos ter uma peça sobre Romeu e Julieta na escola e eu vou representar Julieta. Ok, did you understand? We are going to have a play. Vamos ter uma peça and I will play the role, you know, I will play Juliet. Eu vou representar Julieta. Ok? So, let's remember. Play can mean tocar if it's related to music. It can mean jogar if it's related to games, playing a game. It can mean brincadeira, it's a noun. If it's a kind of amusement that it's not a game, like hide and seek, for example. And it can mean brincar, the verb, if it's like playing some, with toys, playing something that it's not exactly a game. And finally, it can mean peça, when it's something that you watch in a theater. And it can mean representar, when it is like playing a role in a play, in a peça, okay? And I also wrote here bonus because I didn't want to forget to tell you that we also use play when we want to say like press the play button let's say that you are watching a movie with a friend and you want him to press the play button like to start the movie in Portuguese we actually say da um play it's literally like give the play you know but it's like press the play button so if you're watching a movie and we are on the sofa and our friend is with the remote control we would say down play aí it's like you know press the play start the movie so down play it's an expression that we use in portuguese meaning press the play button okay was it clear could you understand all the possible meanings if not if you have any doubts you can leave a comment and I will answer your comment. Uh, thanks for watching. I wish you uh, an excellent weekend. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.